This is outcry at the rise of the dog police, and it says that this is down in Cornwall somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. That they're stopping people going on the beaches with their dogs. On well, I think they're definitely doing that in Cornwall, and actually there are a few pockets mm. throughout the country where increasingly dogs aren't being allowed. And actually, London is one of the top mm. spots. So I think there are more than 200 areas, the public parks and so on, that dogs either aren't allowed in at all or have mm. to be kept on the lead. And I'm in two minds about this. Or I am a dog lover, but we don't have a family pet, unlike uh, your, mm. your beloved pooch. And with young children, sometimes it is quite nice to go to a dog-free yeah. environment. Yeah, I agree. Not just yeah. because of the dog poo, but because of you know, some dogs being quite frightening and yeah. off the leads and so on. However, I, practically all my friends and family do have dogs, and they're up in arms about the fact that they can't take their dogs to places. And I think also what people have been doing is sort of hiding in bushes and leaping out on you know, dog yeah. owners in the sort of you know, later night. The dog police. Yeah. And well, that's clearly mm. getting The thing ridiculous. is, as a dog owner, I, and a mother, I totally agree with it because I take my dog to the park and with a lot of dogs at the park that we walk Maggie in. But in the summer, I think it's awful for families come and they put their picnic rug down and there are a lot of yes. irresponsible dog yeah, you, owners, you as see, we you know. You do see lots yeah. of scared and startled parents and yeah. children when a dog browns up yes. to them when they're having a picnic. So we have to coexist together, though. Talking about sparkle, yes. thousands, this, is the, this is the end thing. Yeah. Bear with me on this. Thousands of women are getting it both ways. They love, they're, they're, they're getting <laughs> the best of all worlds, right? And they're receiving temporary engagement rings because men are worried about making the wrong choice. Yeah. Now, I think that's a great idea. So what you do is you say, Daisy, I love you so much. Will you marry me? And you put the ring in the moments all and everything's that. And you go, ah, but, you, uh, but I'll be bringing it back to the shop and changing it. <laughs> is that not a good thing? No, it's so unromantic, don't you think? <laughs> no. I mean, I, but practical. I but it, it, is. Is, it is practical, and I suppose it would be worse if a woman had to wear a ring that she absolutely hated all her life because the man you know, had spent a fortune. But it, it was interesting, this story, it does still say that a man on average spends one month's yeah. salary, which was, I mean, that's been the tradition for sort right. of hundreds of, well, certainly decades and decades, so I thought that was romantic. And apparently Londoners do spend a lot more than the average. And, and the tightest, apparently, are in Yorkshire, they spend £607 on a ring, but 25% aren't even bothering, they're just saving for a wedding, and I think you know, engagement just seems a bit old-fashioned. mate of mine gave his wife, his wife to be a beer can pull. <laughs> They're now happily divorced. <laughs> and they are still, I was going to say, they're still together. <laughs> the thing is, it must be huge pressure for a man to choose an engagement ring for yeah, his wife to you be. You wouldn't dare let me have all that no. pressure on my own, would you, darling? And actually, we went together, which was very romantic and <laughs> yes, lovely. I, I, and so expensive. I was brought together. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I think you would like that idea because, you see, you have the romantic moment. That doesn't spoil it. Yeah. You go, <gasps> And takes you by yeah. surprise to think that I'll still be changing the ring. Mm. I no. would never, no, I'd never do that. You so no, would. I would not. You so no, would. I wouldn't. <laughs> I think that would be more awful if a man gave yes. you a ring and then you went, oh, lovely. Actually, that's hideous. But I'd never do that. If he said from the outset, this is not your taste, not your choice, so you can bring it back, would that not be okay? Yeah, that would be fine. They're yeah. calling them a buffer ring. <laughs> Rylan, have people commented about this one yet? Oh, we've had loads of girls get in touch about this. Uh, Bexy Davenport said, if you're worried you might be making the wrong decision, you shouldn't be proposing in the first place with any ring. And I can imagine her saying that with her finger like that. Uh, Katie says, if you have to wear it for the rest of your life, it should be something that you're happy with. Yes, it's the sentiment as well, but you can't wear something you hate. And uh, Bernie, uh, Lisa says, uh, my engagement ring was simple but perfect. Some women are just too fussy and need to be grateful. And yes, you should be grateful, because there ain't no ring on my finger yet. Be grateful. <laughs> Who'd have you? Who'd have you, honestly? No one. <laughs> <Aww. laughs>